I'm Steve from Visual Paranormal Investigations, and I'm here with Debbie Franks in the location in which she captured a very unusual sound on a video on her phone inadvertently. Okay, you want to tell me a little bit how that happened? Mm -hmm. I was here with a friend. Uh, she's going to buy the house, and we went up into the attic. I was taking a couple pictures. Uh, later on, looking at the pictures, we noticed there was a video, and we played it in the car, and it was what we captured, which was a, an audible growl. Uh, it sounded very aggressive. It was very aggressive, and uh, so that's what we're here to investigate tonight. That's what prompted the investigation. We're here, we're going to do that, but before we do that, we want to dedicate this investigation to a good friend of ours who has passed. That's Helen Nell Ayers. She was my partner for a lot of years. We did a lot of investigations together, and she was uh, excellent as a partner. And I want to dedicate this really heartfelt to Helen Ayers, and you knew her too. She was a good friend of yours good as well. Good friend, a great person. We miss her. Prior to our investigation while shooting B-roll, we captured this orb that appears to come from behind the door and exit the house. Throughout our night's investigation, we captured no dust, so that makes this, for us, unexplainable. All right, right now we're going to use the Connect Cam because when we were setting up, that chair had a little figure that appeared momentarily that was sitting in that chair. Now, I set a millimeter up to verify if we do get anything. And now we're going to turn the lights off. And I'm just curious to see if, if we get that same figure again. I'd like to ask if the little figure that sat in this chair can come back and sit it in again so that we can record it. We mean no disrespect, but I'd like to see if the little figure would come back. So now we're gonna take you on a walkthrough of the house, we're going to try and find out exactly what caused that noise, if we can, and try to find some answers as to what's been going on in this house. All right, right now we're heading down into the basement to begin the investigation. I'm following Debbie. And what year would you say this, this basement is from? I'm going to say around 1900, 1915. Most of the houses in this area were built around that time. Do you get any uh, feelings down here? I really don't. Uh, I just really don't. No. I can't say that I feel anything with this at all down here. All right, so you know what we're going to do? We'll continue up yeah. and go through some of the rooms and work our way up. All right? All right. This house was built around 1910, 1915. And from what I understand, there was a grandmother that lived here with her extended family. This being her room, her bedroom, and it leads into the parlor, which was the front room back then. And from what I understand, that's where she had passed away. And this room being the living room or parlor, whatever they called it in their day, uh, this is where they had their family entertainment. Uh, and this room basically goes into the hallway. Okay, making our way up to the second floor. Uh, this is where the extended family of Grandmother Hazel lived. Uh, three bedrooms, bathroom, and also this is where the door to the attic is. 
This is the first of the three bedrooms. Uh, the closet has a little window in it. May have been a makeshift nursery for a baby. Uh, I do understand there have been children here. And if you look across the hallway, um, you're going to notice the door going into the attic. Now here we are in the second floor bathroom. As you can see, they still have the original tub. Um, from what I understand, back in the day, they made beer in these bathtubs, um, but I do believe it was on the first floor, but probably something pretty much like this. They still have some of the old fixtures. They have the old medicine cabinet on the wall. I'm gonna open it up. Still has an old fixture, still use in use. And the house still has the radiators. Um, and I believe they're still providing heat. Um, so I think from here we're going to make our way over to the attic. Right now, we're up in the attic. We just uh, set up the SLS uh, camera and we're mapping in a figure by the window, which Debbie, you said that that was the direction that you thought the sound was coming from that you captured. Yeah, that's correct. And if you want to look at that, I'm just going to let that run. All right. Yeah. Hey, I still got it. It's up here. Can you wave? Can you wave and say hello? I mean, no disrespect. Can you come over and touch this? If you touch it, it will light up. He's like right in the, to the right of the window. Aww. I'm coming over with the K2. Oh, you, you know what? You scared it. It went away. It'll come it, back. It shrunk right into the floor. It did it? Yes. It is there, hiding down on the floor. Will you please hold my hand? After leaving the attic, we decided to leave the SLS camera running while we continued setting up our equipment throughout the house. During this time, nothing else was captured. Right now we're up in the attic and this is where Debbie heard the noise coming from the direction of the window, which we have right now an SLS trained on that area of this room and earlier we did capture a figure over there and I believe we recorded it but we're going to try to get it again and see if we can coax a little more activity out of the spirit and see what happens yeah all right okay all right well I'm going to begin with an EVP session okay. and then we'll do immediate playback and if I have anything I'm going to play it directly into the camera is there anybody here with us right now that can give us a sign that you're here? Who made the noise? I want to know who made the noise. All right, Debbie seems to feel that you're shy, that you don't want to interact with us. And maybe that noise was to try to frighten her out for some reason, or maybe you were frightened. Maybe the entity was frightened. I would like to know if you would like us to leave, just say so, nice and clear into this, and we will respect your wish wishes. If you don't want to be bothered with us, just tell me so, I will respect your wishes and we'll pack up and we will leave. But you have to tell us.
or show us speak into this device that I'm holding as loud as you can and if you want me to stay or us to stay you say stay if you want us to go just say go outside noise just tagging it alright I'm gonna play back Switching views and the knees are shaking standing up. It, it, it's not holding the charge. I don't know what's wrong with it. All right. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. Shut that front camera. Just shut that. You see the screen? This. Just close it towards the camera. That'll turn it off. All right. You know what? We're going to bring this stuff downstairs. We'll try something in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right now. Not getting anything. No. Let's try the hallway. Okay. What are you getting? You're mapping in the uh, frame of the banister, I think. Let's see if I can get in there and I shoot it. Anything up the stairs? Should hold it. You can a little more that way. Okay, uh, right now we're back downstairs. Where are we, Debbie? We're in the living room. Uh, this is where we believe. Grandma Hazel passed away, and we're trying to contact her. And we were upstairs. We didn't get very much, although we did catch some figures initially on the, the light-structured camera. However, they were there and then gone, and it appeared, like you said, like it went into the floor. As you approached it, yeah. it was fine until you went over and approached it and then it just seemed to melt into the floor. So it kind of, you, you feel it's shy. Yeah. Well, it doesn't want to be bothered. Right. All right, so we're gonna try an EVP session down here in this room. Maybe we'll have more response. All right, so I'm gonna start that right now. Did we see you upstairs in the attic and then the first night we were here, did we see you sitting in a chair in the kitchen? I think you like the kitchen because that, in a way, is the heart of the house. Everybody would gather there for holidays or for birthdays or any celebration. People would gather around the table. Is that true? Did you play a lot of cards around the table? Did you make the broom fall down the stairs before? Was there a kitchen upstairs at one time?
Do you not like us continually questioning you? If that's the case, all you have to tell us is to stop, and we will. We'll respect your wishes. All right? Thank you for communicating with us. If you did, we're going to play this back, and if we have anything, we'll play it into the camera. played this back into the camera, the EVP recorder, and uh, we're going to go over it closely. I think there's a yes in there. Did you hear it? I've, I heard several responses when I was listening to it. We're going to have to boost it up and really give it, yeah. make sure it's not static or mm -hmm. us misinterpreting what we're hearing. Okay, now I want to try a spirit box. Now, we haven't used the spirit box until now, but now's the time to try it. I mean, we're coming towards the end of the investigation. Mm -hmm. There's not much else we can do. The SLS camera isn't working anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have a problem with that, as with many things, but we're gonna try a spirit box session now. All right. Is there anyone here who would care to speak with us right now? Was your name, or is your name, I should say, Hazel? children did you have? So we've been doing this for quite a while. Yeah. And not one voice. I would say we've been doing this about 20 minutes. Yeah. And not one voice at all has come through on this. This is the same result we had upstairs. True. And downstairs. Now, that sound you recorded, I can't, I can't figure it out because this place feels so neutral right now. Mm -hmm. 
I don't feel anything negative here. No, no, absolutely not. I think it's just a home that had families in it at one time. Yeah, and, and I think those families, they may not like intruders, they may not like the renovations, they may not like a lot of things. It's change. Right. Nobody likes change, you know. True. Very true. Or very few people. Some people can't adjust to change at all. That's why I've been wearing the same socks for the last 35 years. <laughs> all right. Uh, I want to thank you if you did try to communicate. Yes. All right. This is Steve and Debbie. We've come to the end of today's investigation or tonight's investigation. We really didn't get much outside of a few figures on the SLS, possible AVP, nothing on Spirit Box. So whatever that sound was, it's not aggressive. I don't feel anything in this place that feels evil, do you? No, I don't. And I, I do want to mention that when we shot the first day um, from the, the living room, I was standing by the front door, and Orb came out of the living room. Well, I'm going to show that, yeah. Was, you want me to not? No, you can tell it. You yeah, it went, it went around me, and it went out the front door. And it was very visible on the camera right away. So we, we caught that, too. Um, everything's pretty neutral here. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel bad, doesn't feel destructive. I know that the sound that you captured sounds very aggressive. And I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but when we came here and it doesn't really, there's nothing. Yeah, I can't explain it. All right, but, you know, we're going to do the best we can with the editing and we'll, we'll show you what we got. Yeah, that's all we can do. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night, thank you.